Okay, so let's talk about like the setting inside. Um, so in here you will see like maybe um, uh, there is a lot of functions in the main menu, but I will showing you like maybe uh, several ones which I think is very like maybe uh, uh, important. So, but I mainly I want to show you is the uh, main setting on here. So this this setting is a particular single channel setting. So it will be the same from like the channel one to channel six. So in here you will see there is a lot of setting which you can set for example like the input it's very useful that for example like maybe okay this knob i can set the input to one so for example like, i no need to have like maybe uh okay maybe channel three it, it doesn't mean that always is channel three so i can set like maybe whatever i want at the same time in this button i can actually very easy to set like maybe uh for example like i want to set like the phantom power on i want to set the mic and then through this the small buttons, I can set everything much faster rather than maybe what button I have to like, press many times to set it up. Okay, okay. so when we go to underneath and then you can set a lot of things, for example, a link or unlink. So that means it's okay, if I want to do a stereo, I want to maybe a link, for example, I link the three and four or for something like that. And then do I need a high pass? Do I need a um, delay? Do I need to uh, have a limiter? Uh, for the ISO, do I set as a pre-fade or a post-fade? And then EQ, do I need to on an EQ? And then, uh, and then, for example, like when I go out for the bus to, for this particular channel, I want to send to which uh, output, for example, left and right, and then maybe bus one to four. It is very advanced because normally for this bus setting, it's only happened on the 688, but uh, this even the 633, uh, 833 now, and then you can set here. And then you can use this button to set a lot of things. For example, I want to mute this channel, or I want to do the arm recording, I want to set the mic, I want to set the, uh, the pen. All the button here is very easy because more button, that means you can set everything much faster. Okay, so that is the uh, particular channel, which I want to show you that, okay, even the six channel, uh, channel six, or maybe even the, uh, uh, the TA3 channels, for example, like channel five or the channel six, they are also the same. And also they can go to the channel source and then you can set the uh, phantom power and line mic. So that means all six channel is a pre amp input, just only the connector is different. And on here at the same time, okay, let me just off the mute. At the same time, I'm also showing you that, okay, when, uh, when you show here, and then the level here is actually quite high, so this, the color is a bit yellow, but when I go back into the level, which is uh, much normal, and then you will see the, uh, the color will be different, which is, uh, I think, is a very useful indicator for you to show how the level is, which I'm showing you now is the level is actually okay. And on the display here, it was showing you the SSD, how long you can actually record, and then there's no SD card here, and then what's the, uh, uh, the sampling rate here, and um, when you go to the menu, you can set like maybe what kind of display you want to show now. For example, like the horizontal on X channel, but without left and right. Uh, but I like the um, I like the, uh, um, the the first one, the left and right, and also the uh, uh, the one to eight, and then in a, in a vertical setting. So in the menu, I want to show you several things. So which is first is the uh, limiter. In the limiter, now you can set the limiter not only on the particular channel, on, not only on the channel, also on the bus. And the bus, and then even on this, and then you can set the ratio, you can set the release time, you can set the threshold, which is actually more advanced than the previous version. For example, like the 668 and also the 788 too. And on the here, and I also want to show you one more thing, is talking about like the record and play. So when you go to record and play, you can go to set your sampling rate from uh, from from uh, from uh, 44 khz and then to 122 uh, khz. At the same time, you can set the beat depth, and then you can set the pre-roll time or the post-roll time. What is a pre-roll and post-roll time? For example, like if I set the pre pre-roll time to two seconds, that means when I press the button, and then they will, other than I start to record at that moment, I also record the two seconds before I press the button. Post roll, with, that means I stop the button, when I press stop, and then they will also record the, uh, the how many seconds which I set on the post roll, which is very important and, uh, for some situations. And uh, on the same time here, and then uh, let me set it back into zero first. Okay, at the same time, I can track the media tracking. Now is a very easy, 
um, display which showing you what setting you want to glue it in. For example, like the SSD, I want to record everything is on. So that means the ISO, the left and right, and also the bus. And but on the SD card for the first one, I want to only record on ISO, and the SD card two, I want to only on record on L uh, left and right, or maybe at this time I want to set it into a uh, bus left and right uh, at the same time left and right and also a bus one two so which is easy and then which showing you what it is at the same time it's showing you okay I want to have a poly output or maybe a dual mono so uh, it's showing you very uh, clear information in different colors which is very easy useful and then uh, to uh, understand what's the setting you are so other than you can set all the things here and then you can also using an uh, interface like this. This is an uh, interface from Icon, the platform M+. But other than this uh, interface, you can also have a uh, using different uh, interface which actually recommend by sound device. And also you can use the CL12 uh, from sound device before, uh, but uh, you have to upgrade your firmware to 3.0. So which are showing you how the setup it is. So on here, and then it is, a, although it is not a lot of buttons, but it is very powerful. For example, like I, I want to set my channel free, when I press the select, and then it will jump into the, uh, the channel select, which I showing you before. And then on the display here, it's showing you all the information. For example, like the source, the delay, the limiter, the uh, high pass filter, and also I can set the high pass filter uh, the frequency in here with the drawing buttons. And also I can set the EQ here very easy and also uh, set up. And also, I can set the solo, I can set the mute, and then which I will show it into the different colors onto my, uh, onto my 88, uh, I can set the arm recording. Once I press up, and then the arm recording is on, and then I can record the, uh, I can control the A33 to, uh, to record, and also I can stop. At the same time, I can control the mixer level, I can also control the bus, and then also I can control the, um, the output too. At the same time, I think something this is very useful, which I think, uh, okay, first is for example, like, okay, I set everything up, and then I want to switch off the, uh, uh, the 68. Then the, um, the, the console will be, okay, drop all into zero. But oh my goodness, okay, how about my setting? And then if I want to switch, if I switch on the 833, and then the 833 will recognize the, uh, the interface, then it will jump into the, uh, the last setting, the last level, which I actually switch off my A33, which is very useful just right now. It's a very easy setting. And also you can go here and then you can set like maybe a, all the setting here, which is very easy to set up. So if you want to know more about like this A33, please visit ANS website, Facebook, and also our YouTube channel.